feel good. Um, everybody's excited, first day of practice. Um, it's, uh, we're not too worried about the energy level today, but uh, it's the energy level that we're worried about for the next uh, three weeks, and everybody's excited about the first practice. So, yeah. so how do you kind of tame that energy, you know, so you don't, you know, get after, I mean, I know you get after it right away, but you got a few weeks before the first game. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, we got to have the same mentality every day. I mean, practice the same way every day and uh, practice how we play. So, I mean, just go out and do our business and, I mean, roll the balls out there and see where it goes. Yeah, because it's a day that you guys have circled on the count. I know opening day, the first game, is probably the bigger day, but just to be able to get together as a group and go through the drills with the coaching staff, is this something you guys have been waiting for for quite a while? Yeah, we've done a little bit of skill instruction here and there for the past couple of weeks, but uh, it's nice to get everybody together all in one uniform and uh, um, do a full team practice for a couple of hours. It's, uh, everybody's excited for that and just everybody together. So, What's your expectation this year? I know you guys will learn a lot over the next month uh, of working out, but as you walk into this year, what are you guys looking to get accomplished? I mean, we're reigning we're Big Ten champs. I mean, we just don't know. We don't care about that. It's just uh, getting to that next level. And, um, I mean, our ultimate goal is that Omaha appearance. And, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, just going to go out there and just do our thing one game at a time and see where it goes. Same role for you this year? Have they gotten into that with you yet? Or what's, um, what's like for you? I mean, I don't know yet. Uh, whatever coach wants me to do, um, see where it goes. But, uh I mean, whatever I need to do to help this team out, I mean, it doesn't matter where I'm at, and I'll throw. Jake, what are you trying to do different this year than you did a year ago, or different than you did now than you did in the fall? I mean, it's a little different being my senior year. Um, last year was crucial with the draft and everything, but I mean, this year I got nothing. To, got nothing if I do bad. I mean, I got nothing after, so I got nothing to lose. But uh, I mean, I come out strong this year, and all depends on if I'm a starter or a reliever, but we'll see about that in a couple weeks. So. Do you have, so you don't have a preference, starter or reliever? I don't. I don't have a preference. Um, I, I've done both. First two years here, I was a starter and a reliever, and um, but I haven't been in the bullpen for three years now. But uh, I mean, I'm up for the challenge, and I know what, to, uh, what it takes. So. Jake, do you think your beard's going to add a couple of miles per hour in your fastball? <laughs> I don't know. I was modeling off of Josh Rader for a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't know. He threw hard and see where it goes. I mean, he was a closer, and we'll see what happens. How long has it been taking you to grow that? I've been growing this since June oh, wow. last year, but I just trim it a little bit. I can't grow much farther than this. So, yeah. Is it an intimidation factor? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm going as. I mean, uh, maybe uh, just one other thing that the hitter has to worry about. Right? So, Jake, as you look back at your season last year, um, take some pride in the role that you were able to play uh, on the pitching staff? I did a little bit, but I mean, at the same time, it's just if I could get the team a win, it's, that's all that matters. I don't care how it went, um, how many runs I gave up, but as long as we won that game, it really didn't matter to me. Um, like I said, I mean, it's my last year. I mean, I feel like I've been here for eight years now, so uh, just trying to help the ball club this year. So, Hey, the Big Ten Championship, how much did that guy shape your mindset in a positive way as you look forward to this year? Um, it shaped uh, our mindset pretty well. I mean, we know what we're capable of and uh, that we should have gone farther th than we did, but um, that's something, some things that we have to build on, and we got most of our guys back from last year and uh, should be good to go and see where it goes this year. How, mu how much does that end to motivate you the way it ended? Does it motivate the team? It more makes us mad because the way we went out, but um, – it helps, I mean, those small things that we have to work on and everything and um, makes us a little bit stronger within our group of guys. Um, most, Like I said, most of the guys are back this year, so we know what we had to do wrong or what we did wrong and what we have to do to fix those things this year. Jake, as a pitching staff, um, what kind of conversations have you guys had over the offseason um, with any changing of expectations at all this year? No change of expectations. We've always had the same for the five years I've been here. Um, same thing, you pound the strike zone and see if they can hit it, let our defense play. So. Getting a few guys back, like uh, Zach and uh, some other ones, how has that uh, helped you guys throughout the offseason and um, just building confidence as a group? I mean, with those other guys coming back from injuries and stuff like that, it really pushed uh, the older guys and most of the younger guys just to push um, at everything, get better, and I mean, it's more of a competition now within the guys, so that's good. So. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. <clears throat>